Hi everyone, I want to show you another really cool feature that Google have just released for Google Forms. This feature allows you as a user to upload files into a Google Form. So let's create a new Google Form. So I'm going to go to more and here's Google Forms. Let's give the form a title. So I'm just going to call this test form. And I'm going to call this question upload a file. If you click on the link for the different question types, there's a new one here called file upload. So let's choose that one. It gives you a little message and what it's basically saying is that any documents that are uploaded to this form will be placed in a folder on your Google Drive and I'll show you that in a second. So let's have a look and go to continue. Now you can set the maximum file size here all the way up to 10 gigabytes. So let's leave it at 10 for now. You can change the file types that may be needed. So for example, if you're only wanting a user to upload a, a presentation or a drawing, then you can untick this and just tick the specific ones that you want the user to upload. So this could be very useful. For example, uploading CVs to a Google Form. If you're um, setting up a job application Google Form, then maybe you only want PDFs and documents, for example. So let's apply that and have all file types. So there's my simple Google form. I'm going to go to responses and I'm going to click on create spreadsheet, create a new spreadsheet. And here's my new spreadsheet and we've got timestamp here and upload a file. Now we'll come back to that in a second. So that's all you need to do in the creation of the Google form. So let's now be a user and enter some data. So we'll go to preview and here's my Google form. So now I'm a user. I'm going to add a file and I'll get different options here. So I can either upload something or I can go to my Google Drive. So for example, if I'm in my Google Drive, I can just grab one of the files within my Google Drive. Here's a PDF. So let's maybe select that one and submit. Now that could be any kind of document within your Google Drive. There it's submitted. If I go to my test responses now, that's going to appear. And there you can see there's a link. We'll come back to that in a second. So let's submit another response. Add a file. Now I could drag something in. All right, so I have an image here. Let's drag that image in. There we go. Transport, there's my image. And submit that. And maybe let's just do one more and submit that. And now we've got three different responses within my Google file. So what I can do if I am the owner of this particular form, I can click on this particular one and there we go, I can open it up and there's the document that was uploaded. You could use this in various different ways as a, in education. You could use this as a manager to receive documentation from a potential employee. Or in the classroom, you may want students to upload particular assignments into this Google document so you can access all the documents that the students are handing in. So there's different ways you could actually potentially use this. Now let's have a look and see what this looks like in Google Drive. So if I go to my Google Drive, here's my drive, I'm in my drive here. Here's the, what it's done, it's created a folder for my test form. There's my test form and in there, I can go into this one and I can look, upload a file and this is gonna show me all the different file responses in there. Now it's actually put it in my drive as well, so you can see it's here, but it's actually sorted it and put it in, my, in this particular folder. So every different form I create and use the upload file question type, it will upload those files into that folder. Now, what happens if we create another question? So let's create another question and we'll make this one a file. We can continue. Upload your CV, 10 megabytes, let's make that 100 megabytes. And now let's go and preview that. So we've got two here now, so let's upload those files again. So I'm just gonna drag those images one in there and add a second one. And submit that. So it's submitted that. Now if we go back to our document, now we've got our two different files here. So let's go back to our Google Drive. 
And now you can see it's created a folder for each of the questions where we want them to hand in a file. So we can see this is upload file and this one is upload CV. And, and there are the files that were uploaded when I submitted that question. So that is the new feature within Google Forms. I think it's gonna be used a lot. It's an excellent feature. I hope you have fun using it.